Welcome to chapter three. This is the video for lesson one. And the essential question we're going to be covering is what strategies can be used to divide whole numbers? There are a couple of vocab words that we need to review at the beginning of this lesson before we move forward. The first one is a fact family. A fact family is a group of related facts that use the same numbers. Fact families are the same numbers rearranged in different ways that create a similar number sentence. The second vocab word is unknown, and that's a missing value. That's usually what you're trying to solve for in an equation. And the last vocab word is a variable, and this is a letter or symbol used to represent an, an unknown quantity. As we go forward, we'll start using letters in some of our equations, and you'll get a better idea of that here in a little bit when we do an example. Let's move to example one. Example one says, Cheryl is helping to put away 18 basketballs after practice. She places them on a rack that has three shelves. How many basketballs can she put on each shelf? We can solve this problem using a fact family. So you see here, we know that we have 18 balls and three shelves. We, if you know that three times six equals 18, that would be one number sentence in your fact family. You could also rearrange this by saying 6 times 3 equals 18. 18 divided by 6 equals 3. Or 18 divided by 3 equals 6. So there are four number sentences in each fact family. Two multiplication and two division in this instance. You could also have a fact family that involved two addition problems and two subtraction problems. So to solve example 1, we have that 18 divided by 3 equals 6. So Cheryl can put 6 basketballs on each shelf. Moving on to example 2 for this lesson. Example 2 says that Ellie is creating gift bags for her party guests. She wants to divide 56 pencils equally among the 7 bags. How many pencils will go in each bag? We are going to let P represent the number of pencils in each bag. That is our unknown, and P would be our variable. So, we know that we have 56 pencils and 7 gift bags. If we do 56 divided by 7, that will give us P, which is our unknown. So think about it this way. What number times 7 is 56? And then we can write a related multiplication fact. We know that 7 times 8 equals 56. So 56 divided by 7 equals 8. Since P equals 8, Ellie will put 8 pencils in each bag. Moving on to guided practice for this lesson. For the first guided practice problem, we are going to complete the fact family of 8, 9, and 72. So we would put 72 at the top of our fact family. And then at the bottom, we know that 8 times 9 equals 72. I like to list these in order from least to greatest down at the bottom. So we know that 8 times 9 equals 72, which means that 9 times 8 equals 72. And if we wanted to go ahead and reverse that, we could do 72 divided by 8 equals 9. And we could also reverse that one more time of 72 divided by 9 equals 8. Notice in your fact family again, we're using three numbers. We're rearranging them to make different number sentences. They all relate together. They all go in one family. All right, so for number two, we have 48 divided by blank equals 6. So to solve this, you can think what times 6 equals 48. So we know that 8 times 6 equals 48, so if we reverse it, 48 divided by 8 equals 6. On number 3, we have 40 divided by 5 equals blank. Well, if we think 5 times what equals 40, we know that 5 times 8 equals 40, so 40 divided by 5 must equal 8. For your assignment with this video, I would like you to go ahead and complete these independent practice problems. So you were going to solve, um, write a fact family on number 6, 7, and 8. I would also like you 
to write a related multiplication fact down here using division. And I would like you to solve for the unknown in each equation down here. You can do this using a related multiplication fact. And we will check those problems tomorrow in class.